Hello and welcome to this Django tutorial. My name is Abdurrahman and you can call me Abaji. I'll be taking you through how I build this app from start to finish and in the course of this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to build this app from start to finish. So it's going to be purely hands on. So I figured that if you want to learn programming, you got to be doing the work. Okay, you got to be doing the uh, the hands on. So I created this app so that I can show you how to build an app like this from start to finish. So this is about uh, how to build apps in Django and I know a lot of you want to learn Django so I've been doing Django development for about seven years and I have built several applications like hospital management system, stock management system and a lot of different different kind of applications. I build um, enterprise applications using Django and Django is really powerful to build almost any kind of apps that you want to build. So uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build this app, like I said, from start to finish. And this will include HTML, CSS, JavaScript, uh, um, Python. So I'm going to do a quick demo of this app. Like I said, it has a lot of technologies that will be put together by the end of this tutorial. You will definitely, definitely be able to do a lot, okay, uh, especially with Django. So I'm going to do a quick demo of this app. Uh, first, you can see this is the um, web interface, this is the, the, the landing page or your home page um, you will have to click on login right here you can see you have only the home menu okay the home menu would be the only menu that you will see before or prior to logging in so right after you log in by typing your username and that password you would be able to see the menus that you have access to see like i said uh, uh, the reason why i said the menus that you have rights to see is I'm going to be logging in with another username and you would see that with that username you will be able to have only a few of the current menus that you're seeing with this user account so when you log in it will put your username right here slash and you're going to have log out that shows that you are already logged into this app and right here seeing the menus that also tells you that you are logged into this app so uh, it is going to be a computer inventory management system where we're going to be recording or recording details about the computers that you have in your organization. So this will really give you a good example or good um, uh, practice on how to build apps using Django. There are a lot of features that are embedded in this application and let's go through them one after the other. So the fourth is to list out. So we're going to do a complete CRUD or Django uh, application and that means you're gonna do create that means you're gonna be inputting data into the database we're gonna be doing a uh, uh, read that means you're gonna be uh, creating our data from the database updating it and you can also delete it and there are multiple different kind of deletes you can delete one by one you can also delete a lot of data at the same time so let's quickly go through this app um, you're gonna have list application or list devices so this will list out all the devices that you have in your application so on this screen you can do a uh, multiple stuff like you can shut computers by their computer name or their username or the users that are using this computer for example if i want to search a computer with a computer name i will look let's say you want to search a computer called test i'm going to type any any character that matches with whatever i want to search and i press enter or i click on the side button right here you can see it filters down to that computer and um uh, you can also search by uh username i we let's see uh, we have a user um a computer with a user uh hl okay so i'm gonna put a child right here you can see it shows us only that device all right, so um, you would be able to export this data in a, a CSV, okay, in a CSV by checking that checkbox and then click search. Okay, you can see that data right here has been exported. Uh, let's give it time to load. Yeah, so if I click on OK, you can see I have uh, the data right here exported in Excel. Right, so that is one of the features. Good. So you can delete a computer. You can delete a computer by clicking on this delete button. It will ask, are you sure you really want to delete this particular object? If I click yes, that data will be out. We can see we had six, now we have four. And I can do multiple deletes. Let's say you can do bulk delete by clicking on this bulk delete key. And you can see the uh, select all the devices that you want to delete and you hit delete key right here. So this will also prompt and uh, tell you that this is the computer that you want to delete, all these devices here. If you saw that you want to delete, you just hit yes, and it's gonna delete. If I click no, it will take me back. So we're gonna click delete again, and then hit yes, all those devices will be deleted, and it will give you an info 
stuff right here that says you have actually deleted all these computers at once all these computers will be deleted at once okay so right after that uh, you can see you will be able to edit the computer by clicking on the um, the, uh, the computer name and it will give you the form to edit this information so let's say I wanted to type the MAC address and add AA then BB to it and press enter so that MAC address has been updated and one cool feature about of, of this app is if I go to update history this will show you all the devices that have uh, been updated in the course of using this app so right here I had a computer that was um, about it as PC initially you can see right here it has a MAC address of AA now it has been updated with a MAC address of AA colon BB okay and you can see the day that I purchased and everything else is the same as it was in the false record right here so that is keeping a uh, um, history of all the devices that have changed uh, on this application so it's kind of like uh, an audit trail okay um, yeah so that's the update history of the devices you can add the devices from here by typing the device uh, by filling this form and one information or one thing that I wanted to show you here is like you can see we have two operating systems if I want to add another operating system I just have to come to settings add windows let's say we're gonna add windows 11 and that will be added if i want to go add a computer again i will be able to see windows 11 right here so you'll be able to do this and this is in a form of foreign key all right good so um the next feature i wanted to show you is this okay um i logged in with a user that has the permission to be able to add a computer updated deleted you know and yeah stuff like that and admin user but if you log in we have several uh, um, uh, rights to this application so if another person logs in I just logged out and it says log out so I'm gonna click uh, login and log in as user one with the password of user one so when I log in as user one you'll be able to see that user one is able to list other computers right here but there is no function to edit the computers or to delete it so this is uh, some kind of um, permissions that you'll be doing on this tutorial you'll be able to learn how to do all this on your own great so uh, this user only had the access or the permission to list other computers and also to add the computers to the database okay by the way the database is gonna be a MySQL database so we're gonna be learning how to do all this MySQL stuff you know how to set up this app connected with a MySQL database Great, so uh, you will be able to see the history as well, but this user right here cannot edit the information, cannot, um, yeah, cannot edit, yeah? So all they can do is just add the, uh, the data into the database. So I'm going to log in as another user, user2 in this case, with a password of user2. So with user2, they would be able to list out the computers, okay? They will be able to list them out. They can edit them okay they can edit and save let's say i'm gonna add cc or let's just see give it cc save that information you can see the market has been changed to cc but they cannot delete this information they cannot delete the record here only the admin is able to uh, delete the record from the database they will be able to see the uh, update list as well so these are some kind of authorization. Um, once you're able to log into this app, what can you do after logging in? So I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna be teaching you how to do all of this using Django, and this is gonna be really fun. Okay, so those are the uh, kind of um, things that we're gonna be doing, and it is a lot of information. So this um, gonna give you a lot of understanding of how to do web applications using Django. Like I said, we're gonna be covering HTML. We're gonna be covering CSS, we're gonna be doing um, JavaScript. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing a little bit of JavaScript right here. Um, and, and, and then maybe the database, Microsoft, My, MySQL database, we're gonna be setting up a MySQL database. And I'm gonna be showing you how to do this correlative feature right here, which I really, really like. Okay, so um, that's how to do the operating system like I showed you. So this is gonna be a, a, a full-time um, web application train, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So see you in the next one.